Hey everyone, this video is on the brand new redesigned Bowers & Wilkins Zeppelin music player. Now, the Zeppelin was first introduced in 2007, and back then, iPod docks were becoming extremely popular as people moved from physical media to iTunes with all of their music stored on an iPod. The market was full of relatively inexpensive docks that sounded just okay, but then B&W rocked the world with the Zeppelin. Not only did it just look totally cool, but it had the sound you would expect from B&W, which was big, rich, full, and accurate. We loved the first Zeppelin, and many of our customers still have them in use today with a vintage iPod. The original Zeppelin was by far and away the most expensive unit of its time, but the sound and design made it totally worth the cost. It wound up being so popular that 90% of the docks sold back then, over $500, were in fact the Zeppelin. Now, as iPods waned in popularity with streaming coming on, B&W made two more models of the Zeppelin, the Zeppelin Air in 2011 and the Zeppelin Wireless in 2015. These brought in more streaming options and also had some updates to the components for better performance. We were very sad when the Zeppelin was discontinued as we loved the look and the sound. Well, it seems like it was just more than Audio Vice who was disappointed to see the Zeppelin go as it is back and much better than ever before. We'll tell you all about the new redesigned Zeppelin and how it performs. Let's get started. Now there is no question, the design of the Zeppelin is totally distinctive. It does remind you of an actual Zeppelin, but it will certainly last longer than the Hindenburg as it's built to very high standards. The two color choices are midnight gray or pearl gray, and I love the way it mates up to the sleek aluminum stand that tilts it up to better fill your space with sound. For a cool factor, there is even a small light under the Zeppelin you can turn on to give it a glow. It will certainly arrive to you in perfect condition as I have never seen a unit packed so well, although the packing could have been a bit more eco-friendly. I was also happy to see there will be an optional wall bracket available for permanent mounting. You will not find any connections on the back other than power and a USB-C port for service as the new Zeppelin is all about wireless. Just behind where the grill meets the cabinet, there are small buttons for your typical functions for changing volume or skipping tracks on a playlist without having to pick up your smartphone. Now, B&W decided on the shape of the original Zeppelin for two reasons. And actually the first one was more about speaker design than the cool factor, which was the second reason. If you look at the most expensive B&W speakers, you will notice the high frequency and mid-range speaker drivers are in housings that are curved and tapered, very similar to the look of the Zeppelin. And this type of shape greatly reduces speaker diffraction and delivers a more precise and uncolored sound into the room. Plus, it does look really cool. Now, for the speaker components in the new Zeppelin, B&W basically took very similar drivers from their home speakers. First, the cabinet was designed using finite element analysis, which resulted in an enclosure with thick walls and a custom design port for the bass driver. For the bass, there is a 6-inch driver that acts as a subwoofer. It sits right in the middle of the cabinet. From there, you get discrete drivers for the left, and right channels. The tweeter is a double dome design that comes from the BMW 600 series anniversary edition speakers. The three and a half inch mid-range driver uses their FST or fixed suspension technology, which is the same tech used in all of their better floor standing speakers. Now, these are powered with five discrete amps that were specifically designed to perfectly mate with the drivers and acoustic characteristics of the enclosure. And when you look at this tech, you are truly getting speaker components that you would expect to see and they're expensive, high performance speakers. It's really no wonder it does sound so good. Now, in terms of easy access to your music, the new Zeppelin takes things far beyond the last version. Now, B&W spent a lot of R&D time on their wireless formation line of products and the new Zeppelin gets the benefit of all this great tech. The B&W Music app is super easy to use and now it includes Deezer, NTS Radio, Cobuzz, SoundCloud, Tidal, and TuneIn. Now, Amazon Music, Apple Music, and Pandora will also be added very soon. And there is an app for both the iOS and Android ecosystems. And what is also great about this software platform is it can be updated over time to offer new features and performance improvements. 
Now, one really great feature of the app is if you have multiple music services, it will now combine your playlists and favorite albums into one view. And if that were not enough, Spotify Connect with Spotify Hi-Fi coming shortly, AirPlay 2 and Bluetooth AppTex are all also there. And for voice control lovers, Alexa is there too. Now, the DACs used in the new Zeppelin are capable of 2496 high-res audio. Finally, you can use the BMW app for multi-room audio for more than one Zeppelin, or it can just be paired with any of the Formation products or wireless headphones that use the app. Now, for those of you wanting to use this to augment your TV sound or to connect a turntable, there is an absence of any kind of input. B&W decided to make the Zeppelin all about great music streaming and nothing else. Setting up the Zeppelin is a snap with the new B&W Music app. It will find your unit, you give it a name, then enter your network password, and you are done. Within the app, you can then add any of your supported music services, which then show up in your library. Or you can just simply stream to it using AirPlay 2 or Bluetooth. Now, I tested the Zeppelin with Tidal, and a few familiar tracks we use as standards at AudioVice for testing. BMW calls the new Zeppelin the beauty of sound, and I have to totally agree. This unit just sounds incredible for its price, which by the way, with inflation, is almost to the penny what the original one sold for, and looks like a piece of art in most rooms. Most people will probably put their Zeppelin on a counter or tabletop and have the rear of it close to the wall, this does offer the most bass reinforcement, but to my ears, it sounded the best in the space I tested it about six inches off the rear wall. But here's the really great part. BMW has tone controls in the app. I found if I placed it right against the rear wall and then reduced the bass by two dB, it sounded very similar to the position further out in the room. The tone controls will give you a lot of flexibility and placement. Now, the Zeppelin produces room-filling sound, but it does not do anything sneaky with speaker phasing to try and make it sound bigger than it really is, which I really appreciate. As you walk off-axis, the high frequencies stay very clear, but as with any speaker, the mid-range does drop off as those drivers are more directional. It presented a very consistent sound within about a 60 degree range from its center, which is fantastic and will cover most rooms with rich sound. When I played one of my favorite rhythm and pacing cuts, Pink Houses, the Zeppelin had my toes tapping. Everything was perfectly in sync. Vocals on tracks from Joni Mitchell and Dave Matthews were very true to how I expect them to sound. The Zeppelin, to my ears, has a very natural presentation with no fake boost to the bass or treble. It is just very pure to the music. One thing that made the original Zeppelin so popular was how you could really crank it up to fill a big space and it wouldn't fall apart. The new one carries on that tradition and really impressed me with how loud it could get while still maintaining a pure character. You also have plenty of room at the low end of the spectrum as the volume controls gives you lots of room to turn it down and find increments. Now, as a pure music player, I have to say it betters everything I have heard except some of the more expensive units from Macintosh and Name. This is by far and away the best in its price class. Now, is it better than a pair of B&W bookshelf speakers and a nice integrated amp? No, and you shouldn't expect it to be. But if you're looking for an all-in-one music player that is a lot better than most, the new Zeppelin should be at the top of your list. All right, that concludes our take on the new B&W Zeppelin. And at AudioVice, we are all about helping you find the best audio or home theater solution for your needs. So if you're considering the Zeppelin, please reach out to us with any questions so we can help you decide if the Zeppelin is right for you. And if you purchase your Zeppelin from Audio Advice, you get lifetime support from our highly experienced technical staff. So any setup issues you might run into can usually be resolved with a quick chat or a phone call. If you have any questions about the Zeppelin or any questions at all on home audio or a home theater, just give us a call, chat with us on audioadvice.com or stop into one of our award-winning showrooms. We'll be happy to help you out.